Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to film um, a Valentine's look for you guys since it is next week, next weekend, a week from Saturday. Yeah, so um, I wanted to film a Valentine's look for you guys just so you have something if you don't know what you're doing for a makeup look or if you just need some new ideas. Um, I did do two lip combos for you guys. Um, the lipsticks that I use are super affordable. They're from Wet n Wild. Both from Walmart, both $1.97, and they are Bare Secret and Think Pink, so if you guys wanted to pick those up, you totally could. Um, I hope you enjoy this video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye! So to get this look started, we are going to start off with a quick bun. I chose to do a bun for this look because I believe that it is very elegant, and I think it looks beautiful on anybody. And it will complement any outfit. I'm going to go ahead and spray my hair with some coconut water just to get it wet so I can slick it back more. I'm going to take a coarse brush. This one is from Ulta. I'm just going to brush those hairs back. And you want to get this look as tight and as slicked back as you possibly can. Because you want all the focus to be on your buns. <laughs> You're the funny. So anyways, you just definitely want to slick all those hairs back. And gather all your hair up into a ponytail. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a more coarse brush because um, it has thicker and rougher bristles. So it really smooths my curls back and makes this look more, look, look more polished. <laughs> Say look one more time, Bailey. So I'm going to take a hair tie and just go ahead and tie that hair back. Um, I like to get this ponytail as tight as I possibly can because we are going to be working with the hair and you don't want anything to come out of place. I'm going to wrap this around about three times and then I will pull it um, really tight. You want to make sure that you pull it tight without messing up any of the work that you just did because sometimes that happens. Then I'm going to take this Paul Mitchell Firm Hold Hairspray and spray that all over my hair so I can really comb those baby hairs back because I don't know about you guys but I get some serious flyaways so I'm just going to go ahead and brush those back I like this hairspray because it keeps my hair in a good hold but it doesn't give it that white film like a lot of hairsprays do I'm going to take that ponytail and I'm going to twist that hair all the way to the end so that we can start working on our bun once I get it twisted I like to wrap it around, about halfway around the ponytail and then just start maneuvering it so that I get the bun to the desired look that I want. I'm going to take a hair tie and gather the bun in my hand and I'm going to um, band it down. You don't want to wrap your ponytail too tight at this point because you are going to be you want to be able to pull on your bun so that you can make it look how you want it to look. So once I get to that point, I'm just going to make sure I like my bun and make sure I don't have any flyaways. Um, I don't know what happened to this clip. I'm really sorry, you guys. It just disappeared. So, um, anyways, I am going to prime my face with the Smashbox Photo Finish uh, Face Primer. I do love this primer. It's awesome. It works very good for me. It definitely fills in my pores because I do have larger pores and I do have really oily skin. So I'm going to go ahead and I like to use a pretty generous amount. And I'm going to go ahead and apply that to my cheeks, my nose, my chin and my forehead. I like to keep it in that T-zone because that is where I tend to get oily the most, like most people. So I'm just going to blend that in really nicely, make sure it's all smoothed out. You definitely want to make sure this is pressed into your skin so that your foundation goes on evenly and beautifully. So I'm going to go ahead, going to go ahead and apply my foundation. I'm using a Fair Minerals Angled Flat Top Kabuki. Um, I am applying the foundation, ooh, I think it's a Revlon Color Stay. I don't remember what shade it is, but I did mix it with the Kat Von D um, Tattoo Foundation to give me a perfect shade. I do like to blend it down my neck because I am such a hard color to match, so I like to keep it on my neck too so that I look flawless. So I am going to apply the Bare Minerals um, Makeup Base. To my eyelids and then I'm going to start blending out with a Sigma F80 some Benefit Hula. I like to use the Benefit Hula because the shade of brown works perfect for a transition shade. It's not too dark, not too light. 
because I love to use that and I do like to apply a pretty generous amount of that also. I'm very generous, <laughs> as you can see. <laughs> um, I'm just going to keep blending that out until there's no harsh lines until I get the look that I want. You just want to keep blending and you can sing while you do it. <laughs> So I'm just going to blend that out. Then I'm going to take this hot pink shade from my artistic palette, which I got off eBay a couple years ago. I believe it was $20. I do like the shades in it. It is just a cheap palette, but it does work good for days like this when you need some bright colors. So I'm taking the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette brush to apply this pink shadow, and you want to pack that all over your lid. You do want to keep this pink shadow dense because you are going to be blending it out and you want to try to keep as much color as possible. You want to take this pink shadow up into your crease because like I said, we are going to be blending that out and you want to be able to put that transition shade to use. So I'm going to take with my Sigma F80, the Lorac eyeshadow in the shade Mango. I'm going to blend that into my crease so that I get that... Um, smoked out look and we don't want any harsh lines at all like I said you want to make sure your pink is packed on there pretty densely because we are going to be taking this dark brown shade which is also a Lorac shadow and you want to apply that into your crease with a defining brush my defining brush is from eco tools I like to apply this in a V on my eye to take it from the outer corner down to my lash line and then up into my crease so that I get that nice smoked out look. Um, I'm going to just nicely pack this on there and the reason why I'm pressing is because I don't want it to come off too harsh. I just want it to be that light shade of brown because you don't want to take away from that pink shade that we already packed on there. So once I get that on there then I'm just going to blend it out. I'm going to do the same to the other eye of course. Why wouldn't we? So after I get that blended out, I'm going to take the brush that I used to apply the pink shadow with no more product on it. And I'm just going to go ahead and touch up that pink because like I said, you do lose some of that color when you blend it out. So I'm going to take my e.l.f. liquid liner and do a pretty dramatic um, wing liner because it is Valentine's Day and we do want to look awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and wing that liner out. I like to keep it more dramatic than I usually do because like I said, it's Valentine's Day and I think I've said like I said a million times in this video. So I'm going to take the Tarte Gifted Mascara and just apply that to my lash lashes so we can put on our falsies. The false lashes that I'm using are from the Kiss line. They are the Easy Ever Easy Lashes in the 003. You can get these at Walmart, Target, CVS, any drugstore. I believe they sell them at the dollar stores as well. And I do love these lashes and they are super affordable and they do come with a cool little tweezer tool, which I did not use, but they do come with that. So now we're going to start on our waterline and I am going to use this um, gray liner from Wet n Wild. I like to use this gray liner because I feel like the black would be too harsh and I didn't want to use brown because my browns are shimmery so I figured why not use some gray. So what you want to do is you want to go from your outer waterline and just to the middle of your eye. The reason why we're going to the middle of the eye is because we're going to be smoking this out and I figured that if I go clear to my inner corner it is going to be a little bit more harsh and take away from that pink. And I didn't want to do that because we do want the pink to be the main focus of this look. So I'm just going to apply a little bit more of that liner just to darken it up a bit so that when I smoke it out, we still keep some of that gray in there without taking it away. So after I do that, I'm going to blend that out with my trusty digits. I do like to use a brush, but I feel like the brush sometimes takes away too much color because um, I do use... I try to use a shade on the brush and eyeshadow, but if I don't want to, I'll just use my finger. So to highlight, I am using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard. And to set my face makeup, I am using the e.l.f. Um, Mattifying Powder and a Stila brush. No, a Mally brush. <laughs> so I'm going to blend my concealer out with a Beauty Blender, of course. Trusty, trusty Beauty Blender. So I'm going to blend that out. I like to keep the concealer on my nose, my forehead, under my eyes, and on my chin because those are the main focal points of the face. 
I'm going to set that with the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, banana powder. I do like to use a pretty generous amount of this because I do crease really easily under my eye and I hate it. So I do go in kind of heavy with this banana powder. I'm just going to go ahead and set that. I do also apply that to my nose and my chin and my forehead. Because like I said, wherever you use a cream, you want to use a powder to set everything. And I just said, like I said, again, I'm really sorry, you guys. <laughs> So you just want to set that. Then to contour, I'm using a Sigma contour brush and the Anastasia Beverly Hills powder in the shade Fawn. Um, I'm going to blend that up onto my cheekbone. The reason you want to blend it up is because if you blend it down, it takes away from the contour because you want to contour in your cheekbone and not down to your jawline because then what's the point, right? So we're going to blend that up. And I do love this brush for contouring. I used it for blush for a while, but it was too dense. I figured, well, I might as well use it for what it was made for, and it works awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that fawn shade to my temples and a little bit on my forehead. And what we do to one side, we want to do to the other side so that we look symmetrical. I do like to blend a little bit of this shade on the top of my forehead because I do have a large head. I like to make it look a little bit smaller. So for blush, I am using the Lorac um, ooh, blush, and it is in the shade Desire. Um, this blush, it's not really showing up that well on camera, but it is really pink and it is really sparkly. So you do not have to use a highlighter with this blush unless, of course, you want to. It would still be beautiful. Just keep in mind, you will be super glowy, which some people love. Me, um, personally, I don't use a highlighter with this blush because I am oily and I don't want to apply or make it look like I'm any more oily than I already am. So I just keep um, the shimmer minimal with the blush. For lips, I am going to use this Bare Secret from Wet n Wild. This is one of my favorite lipsticks right now. It's beautiful. It's creamy. I love it. So I'm going to apply that and then I'm going to be a little bit conceited. Yep. Mm-hmm. And check myself out. Jeez, Bailey. So I'm going to go ahead and do the second lip combo. This is also from Wet n Wild. It is in the shade Think Pink. I'm going to wipe this bare secret off. I was going to apply some of the Think Pink over it just to tone it down because it is so, so pink. It's not really picking it up on camera how pink it is, but it is like a serious ballet Barbie tutu pink color. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that. Once you get that lipstick on there, you have completed the look. I hope you guys love this look as much as I do. I hope you try it out, and I hope you have a very, very fabulous Valentine's Day. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys. So this is it for the final look. Um, I hope you guys like it and I hope you guys try this out. Um, I included the hair too, just in case you guys needed something to do, just a quick bun. Um, generally for Valentine's Day, I think I would straighten my hair. I probably would leave it straight. But I threw it up today and um, I really like it. I like how this look turned out. It's really pink. Um, I'm thinking about doing a more subtle look. Um, I think I will do that. So if you guys want to keep an eye out for that, it'll probably be up on Friday or sometime next week, just so you guys have two different looks for Valentine's Day. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.